welcome to Real Life. My name is Haley, and today we're gonna talk about fear. Fear's a bully. Fear's a jerk. Fear's a big old mean thing with a little bitty muscles. Fear is a dark cloud ominous in the sky with no real power and no real rain to dump on you. Fear is the man behind the curtain. The screens filled with big clouds and, rah, and the wizard and then there's this little weird dude behind the curtain. That is what fear is and unfortunately I have been intimately acquainted with him most of my life. I remember laying in bed as a child surrounded by my stuffed animals terrified that there was either a witch under my bed or a man outside my window coming to get me in. I would lay there wide awake, paralyzed in fear. And you know, the funny thing about fear is fear is usually something that never happens. It's not based on reality. There was no witch under my bed. There was no man outside my window. Usually we're afraid of things that we never experience and actually I can say that for a fact. Most of the things in my life that I have spent so much time being afraid of or worrying about have never happened. Fear of failure, fear of loss, fear of death, fear of the unknown, fear of change, fear of growth, fear of, I don't know, spiders. I have a terrible fear of sharks. You know what? I have never ever even been around a shark. Never seen a shark at, a, at an aquarium. But I have a terrible fear of them based on, guess what? Not reality. That's what fear is. Fear keeps you paralyzed. Fear keeps you from moving forward. Fear causes you to not do the things that God wants you to do. And there is only one way to combat a bully. There is only one way to combat fear. And that is to punch it straight in the face. That is to turn around and run right at it with your sword held high, screaming, whoa, like a warrior, okay? There is something called courage, and courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the thing that raises up inside of you that says, no, I will not give in to that fear. And courage causes you to run right into the battle. It causes you to run right straight into the pain. It causes you to run straight for vulnerability. It causes you to run straight into Jesus and trust and let him lead you. Courage is that thing that we use. It's like a force that just goes out and it pushes fear aside. It doesn't mean that you don't experience fear. It doesn't mean that you don't feel the physical symptoms of fear where your heart pounds, your chest gets tight, your knees get weak, you do have panic, you don't know what to do. But, and there is always a but, but Jesus, but courage, but strength, but the Holy Spirit inside of you empowering you to do, to grow, to be, to become everything that you're supposed to be despite fear because fear is just a bully. Fear's a little guy with a big microphone trying to talk loud, but he doesn't have any real power unless you give it to him. So today I champion you. Do not give in to fear. Do not believe the lie of fear. This is a journey that we are on together. This is a journey with Jesus. And there are times that it's gonna be scary. There are times that it's gonna be hard. There are times that fear is gonna come and try to talk you out of it. But don't give in. Put your courage on, put your strength on, because you got this, baby. I champion you today to do real life well, and I can't wait to see you next time.